So I wanted to, you know, get ready for the new Dune movie that was supposed to come out in November, but unfortunately, you know, it's been delayed in March 2024, actually. Um, so I wanted to, you know, as I said, prepare. I had all these things already set up for until November, you know, to get myself ready for that second movie uh, that being said though since it's been postponed until uh, march i'm just not gonna do that that being said though i still read the first book of the dune saga for a second time uh, so this is going to be kind of a very quick review of my thoughts because i already did kind of a review of the first trilogy of dune i enjoyed it you know even more than i did the first time around uh, mainly because now that you know i've read all six books so i've only read the books by uh, frank herbert i've not read anything by his child actually brian so since i've only read the books of frank herbert i don't really know how this story ends really that being said i don't really mind because i feel like you know the end of book six was still Kind of a good ending, actually. I might read uh, the books by Brian Herbert sometime. Uh, that being said, I don't know if I'll read the prequels or and the in-betweens and all that. But I might just read the sequel, so the, the ending, quote-unquote, true ending. Uh, but that being said, I feel like I've got a better understanding of Paul's motivation this time around. Uh, and also, you know, understanding... Who Princess Irulan is at the start really helps uh, because you already kind of know what is what's coming next for her. So knowing that, you know, and all these small tidbits that you're seeing at the start of every chapter really helps, you know, better understanding who she is, where she's coming from and, you know, kind of everything that comes afterwards. I know I said that in a previous video, but I really enjoyed that. Underneath everything, you know, it's just the, the inception of a religion, essentially, in Dune. Uh, but, you know, more than that, in Dune, we get to see God, in a way. You know, the second coming of... Not the second coming, but a coming of a God, essentially, further on. Uh, but I really enjoy that we're seeing kind of the prophet of that new religion thingy that's coming uh, so yeah once again i really enjoyed that uh, i really liked how some things are taken out of context to create this myth around paul it's clearer near the end of the book you know once he become that muadib personality and everything that he does is wrapped in mythology and all of that and he's aware of this so uh, from near the end, he starts to be really aware of everything that's going to happen. So I really had this thing in my, in, my, in my mind, you know, that from now on, Paul knows how everything will end. And, and he's kind of unable to prevent it. You know, he's trying to change the future, but, you know, it's kind of inevitable what's going to happen happen essentially this is my favorite book series um so far i just all the topics involved in dune uh, coming back a second time you know even if i already knew what was gonna happen i still like couldn't put this book down like i gave myself two weeks to read the book and i read it in a week actually and it's a really chunky book uh, so it's 800 pages. If you're not, you know, reading the annexes and all of that, it's uh, almost 800 pages. Uh, I've heard somewhere, I don't remember where I heard that, but it's kind of a, it's Star Wars for goth kids. Maybe I'm goth underneath or something like that, but these books are so deep. I mean, I could be talking for an hour or two or even more, and I would just scratch the surface of these books because they are so deep. They're so much stuff happening within these books and so much plots going on at the same time and that are not that explained actually but it, they're kind of just 
hints of plot sometimes here and there. And, you know, we could talk a lot about these books, but it's it just, uh, yeah, it's so good. Uh, it's done by an author who is really smart and at his top of his game, actually. I really liked these books. I can't wait for movie number two. I can't believe that it's been delayed. Uh, but then again, you know, I just wish that the writer get what they want, you know, and what they rightfully deserve. So next week I'll be talking about the Demonologist. So it's a Ed and Lauren Warren book. Uh, I'm midway through the book right now. Um, I'm liking it better than I liked Satan's Harvest. It's not, you know, I really hated Satan's Harvest. So it wasn't that hard to do, you know, just be better than that book. Uh, that being said, you know, uh, I've highlighted some passages that are um, kind of cringy for me, uh, but I can't wait to talk about this book. That's mainly it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week.